Welcome to Cindy Certified Recipes. You know, everybody loves comfort food, and I have a great comfort food playlist, but today we're doing dessert comfort food, and tops on that list, in my opinion, is apple crisp, apple crumble, just depends what you want to call it, kind of all in the same. I've already started cutting up these apples, but before we continue with that, if you enjoy watching my videos and my channel, I'd sure appreciate a tap on that subscribe button and you can hit that notification bell so you know when another great video is coming your way. So let's continue cutting up these apples. I've already started here. We got uh, four apples in the bowl here. And these are uh, hmm, kind of small in my opinion. So it's probably gonna take uh, like eight apples. These are golden delicious apples. Um, my mom, you know, when I grew up, we had a golden delicious tree, so it was one of the apples she used the most baking. And so I tend to gravitate toward them, uh, but I know a lot can depend on where you live. Uh, my husband was in the military. We lived in a lot of places where, you know, the choice of stuff isn't that great, I should say. And so you get what you get sometimes. And if you check out my applesauce video or my stewed apple video, you'll see that I use a combination of apples. And sometimes that's really great just to use like a, one of those or one of those. You get a nice complex flavor uh, in your, whatever apple dessert you're making. Uh, so that's always an idea too. There's really no rule. People will say, oh, use this, use that. That's what you like. And uh, I really like, uh, using the mixture but today the golden delicious looked great at the store and so that's what i'm using and so i like to cut them up myself uh, i have an apple core but anyone who's ever looked at an apple you can see that the apple core is not straight up and down it is round in the middle there and so when you use an apple core, it just makes a straight core and you, get, you can get some of that pithy stuff. I don't want any of that pith, pithy stuff. So uh, I like to cut them in half like this and then uh, I'll try and show you here, cut around that, you know, because the core is round, it is not straight. <laughs> so if you're picky like me and you don't want any of that nasty stuff in there, you will cut around it. And then I just like to cut them in chunks. Sometimes I'll cut them in slices. Today feels like a chunky day. So the way that's looking in the bowl there, we're probably gonna put just a few more apples in there and get on with the rest. And I remember watching my mom uh, when she would bake with apples and uh, she would just whip these peels off and we kind of fought over them as a kid, <laughs> eating the peels and they're great for you. Um, but uh, today I won't be eating peels in front of you. <laughs> so basically I just cut them in like three quarter inch chunks You can see like that. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. I like to cook it kind of more on the low side so the apples really get nice and soft. And you'll think that probably starts to look like a lot of apples in the dish, but uh, they do bake down and uh, actually when they're baking, they'll kind of rise up and then when it cools, it'll go back down. So feel free to kind of overfill it a little bit. I think that's starting to look good. That was actually, if you count the ones I did uh, before you guys saw me, uh, that's about nine apples. And like I said, I think these are, you see the palm of my hand, they're kind of small. So you can judge it by your pan. Uh, you want the pan 
whichever one you use, about three quarter full with apples. Here you can see my pot I'm using today is three quarter full, and that's about the height I like to have the apples, and I'm gonna season them up now. And so I like to put uh, the juice from about half a lemon on there, gives them a little brightness and keeps them from turning brown, although they'll turn brown when they're cooked. Just keeps them nice and fresh. Get my spoon here, give those a toss with that lemon juice. I love the smell of lemon. Just kind of wakes you up. <laughs> and then, you know, I, in my recipe, I said half a cup of sugar. And that really depends on the apples. So if you have a really sweet apple, just a little bit of sugar, because there's gonna be sugar in the streusel topping that's gonna to get down in there. So um, these apples are actually kind of sweet. And so that's probably about two tablespoons I'm putting on right now. And like I said, that's gonna depend on your type of apple that you're using. And also how, like you, uh, how sweet you like your dessert. And so now I'm gonna put uh, about a teaspoon of uh, ground cinnamon. And this is half a teaspoon of ground cloves. I love using ground cloves when I do apple desserts. And uh, my hands are a little slippery here from those apples. Uh, but I also like using fresh nutmeg. I also think it gives apples a little bit of zing. So we're gonna just grind a little bit of fresh nutmeg on there. Hopefully don't get my fingers. <laughs> There we go, you want just a little bit, because it can be overpowering, but a little bit just adds a lot. And they're very cool looking on the inside. I love the way nutmeg looks. And uh, so we're gonna stir that up. You want them all really nice and coated and all those spices. That looks good. And now you just wanna put them all back down in that pan and kind of pat them down. There we go. Distribute them well. I'm gonna set that aside, and then we're gonna get on to our streusel topping. We're back to make our streusel for this really wonderful apple crisp, and uh, it's pretty much put everything in the bowl and then start squeezing it up with your hands. You can use a pastry blender if you want, or you can use uh, a blender. Uh, I think it works better if you just do it with your fingers. And so we're going to start off with a third a cup of white sugar. Just put it in your bowl. And I like to use a bowl that's kind of flattish, uh, gives you room to work with your fingers. And then uh, this is half a cup of, uh, of uh, packed brown sugar. And then this is a generous half a cup, like mounding half a cup of all-purpose flour. And then this is a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of salt, which gives it that real nice lip-smacking flavor. And here we have half a teaspoon of vanilla. And so now comes the fun part. This is a whole stick of butter. And I don't like to use it when the butter's super hard but I don't want it room temperature either. So it's between hard and room temperature because you gotta be able to work with it. And I found it doesn't really matter when you put it on, whether it's cold or a little softer. And so basically what you're doing is you're just squeezing up all those dry ingredients uh, into the butter. And you want like a coarse meal when you're done, maybe with some larger like pea-sized pieces in there that make for nice little pieces to steal when it's cooked. <laughs> so 
You're gonna definitely going to get your hands dirty doing this, but it's kind of fun. And you know, uh, also keep your eyes open when you're at the store. Uh, like I said, there's the oatmeal topping that's very uh, uh, often used uh, to make a crisp. But, you know, don't be closed out to other options, like maybe um, uh, like macaroons at the store that you can uh, chop up and use as a topping, or your favorite granola even as a topping. Um, just adding maybe a little shredded coconut to the oatmeal one. Uh, those are all really great ideas and it just changes things up. and. It also depends on the type of fruit you use. You know, I'm doing apple crisp today, uh, but if you were doing peach or cherry, um, I mean, there's a lot of options for the topping that kind of uh, changes things up and just makes it different and exciting. And, you know, you're the cook and you can do what you want. <laughs> so I have made my streusel here and ta-da, it's like breading chicken. <laughs> And so I'm gonna get the majority of that off my fingers here. Cause I gotta dig back in there to put it on the uh, apples. There we go, good enough. <laughs> so we're gonna move those back over here and start putting that on there. And like I said, I kind of like it in big chunks. Uh, it cooks down and uh, like I said, then when it's cool, you can just kind of go, ah, I kind of want that one. <laughs> and also another addition that's great. If you like nuts, you can do almonds or walnuts, uh, pecans to this. It just, I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do different than uh, what I'm going to call what I'm doing is normal for today. Um, and I tend not to do things normal, but uh, this streusel topping, I have to say when it cooks, it's the most like a pie crust. And so when you're eating those apples and you get that cooked streusel in there, it tastes like pie crust. And uh, even though this is a great dessert any time of year, it's so fantastic that, I mean, it can even grace a Thanksgiving table or any holiday dinner uh, dessert. So uh, we're gonna get that in the oven now. I've had it preheating at 350, and it's gonna be in there probably about 40 to 50 minutes uh, until it's golden and bubbly. Our apple cinnamon goodness is out of the oven, and it just looks, out of this world and you can see those big lumps I was telling you about you know the ones that you can just kind of take off and steal <laughs> that's why you make the lumpy ones <laughs> but it's cool to warm I can feel the warmth on the bottom uh, but uh, that's the way I like to serve it so your ice cream just kind of melts a little bit over it you know makes that creamy wonderful sauce uh, so now I'm going to plate that up. I got my big old middle spatula here. And you can make as small or big a servings as you like. And you know, I did not put any thickener in the apples. And I just rely on the pectin of the apples to thicken it. And so the cooler you let this get, the thicker those apples will be. And so I'm gonna set that over there and scoop out some ice cream here. My hands are slippery now that I took that little smidgen with all the butter. <laughs> okay, there we go. Look at that, you guys. I'm telling you, it's a dream on a plate. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video of my apple crisp. 
apple crumble. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on our next video. My apples and spice taste pretty darn nice. And as always, if it's time tested, top-notch ingredients, and the talk of the table, it's Cindy Certified. <laughs>